When I picked this up with a tractor, I didn't think it was that heavy. Is it that heavy now? Yeah, it's pretty heavy. Yeah, you're not a tractor. <laughs> what? Good morning, beautiful. Well, it's not morning anymore. Good afternoon, beautiful people. All right. Today is yet another rain day. So, uh, because I can't work on the house project that we're currently working on, I figured I would update everybody. I know people are wondering. We haven't done a, uh, a build video in two weeks? Something like that. Something like that. I think this will be the third week. There has been a lot of rain recently, and we've also had a lot going on. We've had... Like, we're getting ready for a baby. Uh, we've just had things that we've gone and done, running here, running there, and it really eats into the time on top of having rain every week. And so, kind of where we're at with it is the days that I have to work on it, I get as much done as I can. Um, if I run into any snags, that just holds the whole thing up. So, I'm going to update you guys on what's going on. Uh, I ran out there real quick and I took some b-roll so we can we can roll that while I'm telling you what's going on. Walking around I've got my footers dug this has really been the hold up um, this bottom portion I really had to chisel it out with a pickaxe it was very very hard packed clay took a very long time um, to get it down to where I needed it. Um, I wasn't originally going to do forms, but because of the step downs, I felt I needed forms. Technically, I don't even need rebar in here, but I'm going to add rebar anyways, just because. If I'm going to have to go to the trouble of building all these forms and pouring a footer, I might as well at least make sure it's going to last. So, laying this out, uh, I actually had a lot of fun. Um, it was, it was kind of fun, you know, building all of this, plus having the forms here. It really looks cool. So we are almost to the point of being able to pour the concrete. I just have to finish getting the rebar in and I just have to wait for the rain to stop. As soon as it dries up a little bit, I'll get back in here and set up all my rebar and then, then we can pour concrete. But until then, it's hurry up and wait. So keeping with the, uh, the rain day theme, Meg's in here making more cheese. I think that was in the last video. She yeah, was making was. cheese. I just had one more gallon to use up, so. So you're in here. Uh, I actually have a project I'm gonna see if I can work on. The rain has kind of died down a little bit right now and it's just like a slow drizzle. So <laughs> let me grab an umbrella and I'll walk down here to the greenhouse where I plan on working. All right, in here. Okay, where's the button? There's the button. All right, in here under cover in the greenhouse. Uh, it is actually like a perfect day for doing this. Uh, assuming the sun doesn't come out. If the sun comes out today, it's gonna get Real hot and muggy in here. All right, so I got in here yesterday. Uh, I actually did a job yesterday. I didn't film it uh, because it's just a miserable job. I needed to clean out the coop, like the roost area in the chicken coop yesterday. I've needed to do it for like a year and I keep putting it off. I keep, it's a nasty job and I haven't wanted to do it. And so what I've done is I've just taken wood chips and thrown wood chips in there when it starts uh, getting kind of stinky and just leaving them. Well, uh, it's probably been six months since I added any wood chips. Uh, the last time I added stuff, I added a couple big trash bags of leaves, about a tractor bucket, maybe two of wood chips, and just left it. Uh, anytime the poo piles under the roost were getting bad, I would put some, shovel some wood chips on top of that. Anyways, needless to say, I haven't cleaned it out in about two years. I just add to it. Add, add to it and add to it and add to it, knowing it's just going to break down. Well, boy howdy did it. I don't know if you can see this, but this, I don't really want to pick it up because it's, you know, chicken dirt, but this stuff right here that is now all over my potato bed in here in the greenhouse. And before you're like, ah, potatoes in a greenhouse, what the heck? These were started in very cold weather and it was kind of an experiment. These will be done about the time we need to plant out stuff in here. We have till about, oh, I don't know, Mother's Day before we uh, we start planting everything for the summer. Cleaned out the chicken coop and, I, you know, I moved the fresh stuff to the side and then get it all the wood chips. Well, I ended up having about, I don't know, a foot, maybe a little bit more of uh, completely decomposed, beautiful soil. And I had enough to completely cover all of this bed. Uh, I top dressed and kind of kind of sort of buried the potatoes a little bit, but mainly just top dressed and it's some beautiful stuff. 
Well, having the dirt just kind of spill out into the walkway, it kind of dawned on me, we've had both sides of the greenhouse set up the way we want. We kind of haven't done a whole lot in here in the greenhouse. We keep telling ourselves, you know, we might want to change it. We want, might want to put beds going this way or whatever. But for the nearly two years that we've had this greenhouse now, we've kept beds on either side and a walkway down the middle. And so realizing that, it's like, I think this is what feels, feels right for this greenhouse. This is kind of the way we like it. So we're gonna roll with that. Uh, I am actually gonna go get some, some of the logs that I get from a tree service place. And uh, I'm just gonna lay them in here as border. And I'm gonna do it on both sides. That will leave me about a, I don't know, maybe a three foot walkway right in the center. And those logs can stay there as kind of like a, a retaining wall of some sorts. Uh, it will help keep the soil in place where I want it. It'll kind of look visually appealing because then it'll be, you know, a nice uh, a bed. You know, I, I've found that I, I kind of enjoy having uh, beds established and bordered. I think I'll hop on the tractor. I will probably have to leave the camera in here just so it doesn't get wet because this is not a waterproof camera. So let me go uh, towel off that seat on that tractor and uh, get down there and bring some logs up here. Alright, before Ben gets in here and does his thing, I'm actually going to go on a little small rescue mission. <laughs> I have these volunteer, you can't really see them through the tomatoes, but I have little volunteer tomatoes in here. I'm pretty sure they're sun gold cherries because that's what we had growing in this corner. And they just kind of like took over and dropped all their fruit everywhere, the ones we didn't eat. So I'm going to grab these tomatoes and pot them up before they wind up getting crushed by the border that Ben's going to be putting in. So rescue mission first and then we'll make it pretty. Rescuing the tomatoes while I have a chance. <laughs> oh, that's a really good idea. <laughs> Before you crush them. Yeah, because they, they're, they're fixing to get it. <laughs> yep, yeah. I walked in here and I was like, oh, wait, no, the tomatoes. <laughs> okay. You need a secret shovel? A secret. Do you have a secret shovel? I have a secret shovel. Ah! Well, I had to go to the shed to get one. You want one over there? That one had a label. Did it? Broccoli. <laughs> that's not broccoli. It's confused. Don't tell that tomato. <laughs> not offended. Yeah. We're digging up all of them? Uh, as many as I can find. Look well, until nice the tray's full, basically. Yeah, that's a good one. Pick up. Oh, glory. We don't want that. Look at that one. That one wasn't that big yesterday. No, that's not big. One. That's 12 right there. There's one more. Cool. Free tomatoes, <clears throat> yo. Free naturalized tomatoes. They always do the best. They do. It's been very, very convenient to have mixed up ready to go potting soil just like here. Ready to go. Uh, you've said that several times. You it's must really enjoy it. Very nice. All right. And then we're just going to leave this tray in here because they've been doing fine in here. Obviously, they're not upset. And let them do their thing. And then when we're ready to, uh, we're either gonna fill them, put them in here, or I'll put them outside, depending on how many tomatoes we have yeah. <laughs> and where we're planting them. We're gonna have a bunch. Yeah, we will. Tomatoes are really like that garden gold that everybody truly wants yes. all summer. Yes, I am very ready for tomatoes <laughs> and it's not tomato season yet. Put it right here. Okay. All right, you got to tell them. Grow. 
Even though that's what they were doing. They were doing that. They were doing fine, actually. Cool. That's 12, 13. 13 tomatoes. All, All right, right. Cool. Well, now the tomatoes are out of the way for you. Sweet. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, there's one more. Oh, hey, 14. One more. Cool. I guess we'll uh, just take a minute. People are going to ask. How's Meg doing? I'm, I'm doing good. I'm, do I'm uncomfortable. Like, very out of room. <laughs> very out of room. But overall, pretty good. My energy's been pretty good. And I'm sleeping. I mean, obviously, okay. you came out here yeah. and ripped up some tomatoes. Yeah. I'm, I'm sleeping decently. So, saving up the energy for when the baby comes. <laughs> so, uh, counting down for sure. Definitely. But we still got, like, weeks. Yep. Weeks, weeks to go. So. so. We'll see, but overall, doing pretty good. That's to uh, all of the, the grandmas that are wondering. Yes. Me Meg's doing good. Yeah. All right. I'm pretty much just going to throw a sling around these and drag them in here, lay them where I think they look good. And that's it. Like, that's not going to be real hard. Remember, lift with your legs. <laughs> you know, people say that, but what I've learned is people don't know what that means. Well, yeah, that's true. Okay, let me put it this way. Don't throw out your back, babe. That's a better better statement. When I picked this up with a tractor, I didn't think it was that heavy. Is it that heavy now? Yeah, it's pretty heavy. Yeah, you're not a tractor. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sorry to burst your bubble. I guess this will be my border since this comfrey's here. Yeah, that comfrey's jamming. Cool. All right, there's, there's one. one. Have you seen how much Swiss chard yes. is coming up? Yes, I have. Like, here's one I buried it's yesterday. Everywhere. There's one there. There's one there. Here's one. Here's one. There's one, one, one there. There's one. There's one. <laughs> yeah. Hey, is that a tomato? Here no, a chard, there a chard. Yeah, here a chard, there a chard. <laughs> everywhere a chard, chard. <laughs> Who needs a gym? Gyms were created because everybody left the farm. That's true. That <laughs> is the truth. This side, pretty much the same thing. I might have to move the citrus. Probably. Which, it's okay, their uh, double tent needs to come off. It does, yeah. They're doing great. Let's have a look at them. Hey, yeah. They survived. They look good. So this one actually didn't survive. This one died. Oh, bummer. But it came back from the rootstock. Okay. And that is called citrus trifolia or something like that. That is the rootstock. Uh -huh. uh, it is not good for fruit. No. But what I can do is I can let this heal and then I'll just cut off of one of these good ones and just graft it on yes. that. Yes. We should haul them out in the rain and let them get watered. Let's put it over here. Sorry, chamomile. All right, for figuring out my spacing, I have a wagon. As long as this wagon fits down this middle aisle, that's the proper spacing. Usually I use this wagon, this is my favorite wagon, 
Uh, it's not too big, not too small. We have a great big one. When it's full, it's really heavy. And honestly, moving that much, I might as well just get the tractor. Uh, we've got a smaller one than this, and it's a little too small. I'd rather use the wheelbarrow if I'm going to use that one. Yeah, so on and so forth. This is my ideal wagon. So as long as it can fit in here, we're good. Nope, not quite. So far, so good. <laughs> A little tight. <laughs> hey. Okay, I'm gonna throw some wood chips in here. Yes. And then that'll be it for the walkway. Cool. Let's get some, some strapping young lads and lay down some cardboard and then start bringing some wood chips. Cool. All right, what do you think, lady? I think it's beautiful. It looks great. I mean, it's kind of like uh, rustic. Whimsical. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. I like it. Yeah. So I lopped that off, and once these potatoes are out of here, that will be the end of the bed. So we can, you know, open and close the door, get in here, and maybe set up a table or something. I don't know. Just the more we've used this greenhouse, the more I've found I really like having a space just inside before the beds right. so you can get in here and do stuff. Yeah. But yeah, that actually turned out way better than I was hoping. It looks great. It looks great. I love it. Yeah, the sun decided to come out and now it's like roasting in here. Roasting in here. It's yeah. really hot in here. That was that was a good afternoon's yeah, work. Yeah, it was. Back at it again. Yeah. Looks like we're having chicken pinwheels yep. or a giant cinnamon roll. Uh, chicken. <laughs> Ch chicken rolls. Yeah, chicken rolls. So we hadn't done chicken pinwheels in, I don't know, maybe like a couple months. Uh, yeah, probably been a minute. I mean, we filmed it last time we did it, yeah, so people are going to be like, you just ate that. Well, for us, it's, it's been a while. That, yeah, quick and easy. People like it, so <laughs> I like it. Quick and easy from Meg is like a day in the kitchen for most people. This is easy. <laughs> do is make dough and then mix up some canned chicken and mayonnaise and cheese and green onions and you know seasoning so all from scratch all from scratch for a little bit and then we'll just bake them and we'll dinner. Yay. Alrighty. Should be done. Mm. They're not golden brown. They're not. We'll give them five more minutes. We like them on the toastier side. False alarm. Yeah. All right, let's check these out. Mm, still not quite golden brown, but I'm tired of waiting, so. Tired of waiting. <laughs> They'll be all right. I mean, they're cooked, so they're fine. They do look beautiful. These ones are a little, little more good than the That's what we usually That's go usually for. what we go yeah. for. But there we go. Beautimous. Yeah. I love chicken pinwheels. Me too. Especially with like a good mustard. Yes. Or even or, just yellow mustard. Yeah, sometimes even just ketchup. <laughs> I've never tried them with ketchup. I, I like, yeah. honestly, I think I'm in like a, just a plain yellow mustard mood. You are, yeah. You are. All over the top, maybe a puddle to dip in. There you go. Good old yellow mustard. Sounds good. <laughs> All right, we're gonna let these cool a little bit because they're lava right now. 
<laughs> and then we'll eat. Okay, a little one for Buggy. Okay, careful. There might be a little bit hot still. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for today. Thank you for all the rain. Really? Pinwheels are always a hit. Mm -hmm. They just go down easy. They do. All right. With that, it uh, it is raining again. Yeah. Uh, actually, it looks like power might actually go out. It might. The, uh, we'll see. The lights have been kind of flickering. Uh, there's a lot of wind. Looks like we might have an honest to goodness thunderstorm. Yeah. Like that'd be that'd be really cool. It would. It'd we be haven't nice. had we haven't had like a legit thunderstorm in a long time. With that, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye. Ooh.